Washington Supervisor Nathan Fletcher just alluded to it. The blood clots happen in six women across the country. That's out of nearly 7 million doses of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine already issued, so less than one ten thousandth of 1%. But even though having a reaction is extremely rare, our Chris Beal spoke with the doctor about the signs to look out for, and he joins us live now from Balboa Park with that part of the story. Chris. Yeah, good evening, Andrew. Vaccinations continued here at this site run by Cal Fire, but like so many other sites without the use of that Johnson and Johnson vaccine. I would say a safe time frame is two weeks. Within two weeks of getting this vaccine, if you're experiencing these symptoms, then definitely let someone know. You can make the argument that you should contact someone anyway, but this is the time frame of when they are seeing this. Dr. Abby Olaude with Sharp Re Steely points to the CDC's list of symptoms to look out for about three weeks after getting the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, including severe headache, backache, new neurological symptoms, severe abdominal pain, shortness of breath, leg swelling, tiny red dots on the skin, or new or easy bruising. Dr. Susan Little, an infectious disease specialist at UC San Diego, Health explains this condition coming up in six people among the seven million who got the Johnson and Johnson vaccine. Who have developed a very rare blood clotting disorder that um, also occurs in the general population. So at this point, it's not possible to tell whether it is related to the vaccine or whether it is just something that unfortunately happens. Either way, both medical experts agree this is a sign the system of checks and balances is working. So I think the CDC has done exactly the right thing. Because it is a sign that the safety measures are in place and they're working. None of this, they say, takes away from the importance of being vaccinated. The Johnson Johnson vaccine is actually less than 5% of the vaccines that are being administered. So it's important to get the ones that are available to you. And it is important that you still get vaccinated because it is important to protect against COVID. Now, the CDC says part of the reason why they put out this alert was so health systems like the one we talked to in these stories would know what to expect if somebody came to them with these symptoms. For now, we're live in Balboa Park. I'm Chris Beal, Fox 5 News. Chris, thank you very much.